at Ball State, we are dedicated to helping our students realize their greatest personal and intellectual growth. Our graduates are in demand and find excellent employment. Ball State offers a beautiful and safe campus in which to live and to learn. We also are fortunate to live in a city where people appreciate and support the university. I encourage students, including the new students coming to us this year, to take advantage of the many opportunities here. And always remember that people are here to be of help. We're very excited about the upcoming year. Our staff is hired. They're here. They've been going through workshops. They're a fine group of young people, and we're really looking forward to that. Our buildings are ready. Students are ready, and we're really excited about their arrival tomorrow. We'll have a large number of freshmen on campus, probably a little larger than we had last year. We have had more cancellations of contracts this year than in previous years, but we assure you that we're going to open filled. We're going to be ready for the students who are coming. We hope that our programs and the people that we have working with these students will make this a very vital and important part of their college life. I think the first thing that they'll notice is that the students in the halls are ready for them, uh, that they've spent their summer uh, planning their welcome, uh, that they will have uh, their names on their doors, that the halls will be decorated, that they are going to be serving refreshments, and they're going to be carrying luggage and making them generally welcome. I think the second thing that they will notice is that uh, there will be a number of meetings where the policies are explained, where their responsibilities are explained, and where students uh, who are already part of the, the hall will uh, try to make them feel welcome and bring them into the organization. By the end of the first week, we'll probably, most of our halls will have a social event of some kind, a dance, a disco, a um, coffee house, uh, just something to involve the students and, again, try to make them feel as if they belong to Ball State. Something added and special this year to meet the needs of the many incoming students who were not able to get residence hall space because of our overcrowded condition is a program we're instituting for the first time called LOCKS, which is living off campus successfully. Starting on the night of September 7th, when we've invited uh, our off-campus freshmen to join us in the ballroom of the Student Center, uh, and following up with a fall quarter series of seminars, we are going to make every effort to make these students welcome integrate them into the campus community and to have them become knowledgeable of everything from transportation to uh, buying food at the most economical ways to cooking to learning how to register for classes to just generally really fitting in and belonging here. So we're calling the program LOCKS, uh, hoping that we might provide the key to what we're calling living off campus successfully. We ran the wires through the heat tunnels of Ball State. The worst part of the run was between the temporary building that housed the station near Ball Gym and the tunnel because these temporary buildings were not on the tunnel and there was simply a conduit there. And we could not figure out for the life of us how to get the wire through the conduit until one day we talked to Harry Howick who taught physics and he suggested that we put some sort of a soft plug on the end of the wire loop at one end of the conduit and hook a vacuum cleaner onto the other end and we did that and we sucked the wire through this conduit from the speech building over to the heat tunnel by behind the gymnasium. We uh, are able with the assistance of a national network to bring daily public affairs information in the form of the award-winning program All Things Considered produced by National Public Radio as well as other news programs and many many cultural programs, including the San Francisco Opera and the Chicago Lyric uh, Opera, uh, the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, and a number of other programs, folk, as well as jazz that have never been available to us before. 